give me some of that. Girl, I'm falling. Give me some of that. Back push. Give me some of that. Angel touch. Give me some of that. Make me feel like Kush. Give me some of that. Kill me dash and push. Hey, what's going on? Big Grom. I got Cakewalk Sonar 7 Producer Edition. And uh, I get, I've been getting a lot of questions lately about my compression um, sets. Like, how, how do I compress my vocals? Um, first off, I use the uh, MU0404 sound card. And with this sound card, I get effects. I can use them in real time. So I use the compressor in real time. Now, that's like the bass. That's like um, the bass for my vocals, you know, to get them even. So like I haven't done any. This is like my vocals right here. These two tracks. I haven't um, done any compression in Sonar. It was strictly this is how it records in. I know if you don't compress your vocals as they're coming in, you have different big spikes in the waveforms, and it doesn't sound smooth. Um, so I try to compress my vocals as I'm recording them. That, so they're somewhat smooth. At this point, what I'm trying to do is only just to edge it off. I'm not really trying to do any hard compression. I'm just trying to edge it off. What I use, I like to use, is the compressor that comes with sonar which is this baby right here basically all I do I start off using either the soft the vocal soft preset which is that's what I use most of the time really which it has a somewhat slow attack which means that when when my voice is hitting you know volume is up it don't compress right away. It, it it takes a little second to start compressing. Because like I said, I don't want a harsh compression. I want a soft compression. So let's just say Girl I want Let's see. Uh, let's go to a rap. S pop. Give me some of that. Make me wanna grab. Give me some of that. Some of that Kim. Alright. So if you look at it, this is the threshold. That means if, if anything that goes over this bar right here is going to be compressed. Give me some of that fat bush. If you notice, it's only compressing a little bit because my volume is only going over that bar just a little bit. And if you look over here, well, if you see the, the GR, it's only compressing like 3.2. I'm only edging it. I'm not really compressing down on it a whole lot. Give me some of that fat bush. Give me some of that angel tush those are the things you want to look at you want to look at the the threshold it, am i compressing it a whole lot and then you can see it here and you can see it here and that's why i like about this compressor because you can really see what's going on some of them you really can't see what's going on and um you have to use all ears which is not bad technically you should be using ears at the end of the day anyway but this still gives me a good visual of what i'm doing so um how I use the compressor is, by the time it's in sonar, I'm only barely touching the vocals with the compressor. I'm I'm just nudging it off. Just like it's almost like if you had like a, a kind of a rough surface and you'll take one of those um, sandpaper just to smooth it out. And that's what I'm doing with the compressor. I'm just smoothing my vocals out. If there's any way any little peaks that cut that came out. I'm just smoothing them off. Like if I zoom in, see that little peak right here? It's just a little peak. Like I'm just smoothing those out. Like my vocals are pretty smooth. And really, let's just say, well, Grime, I don't compress my vocals as I'm recording them. I record them, then I compress them. Your goal is just to even it out. Your goal is to even out. You can do that with volume like a volume envelope which is more time consuming but um just like waves came out this plug-in called the finger which is i think it's very good because it actually moves the fader up and down depends on how loud your vocals are so if you sing real loud or rap real loud the finger would actually turn the uh volume down 
So that way you really won't have to use as much compression because if, if your compressor works too hard, then it starts to suck the life out of it. So the whole goal is, is to basically get your voice um, at an even volume without sucking the life out of it. Because trust me, if it works too hard, it will do that. And, um, and to make your vocals um, pretty even, you know. And that's pretty much how I use. There's no special preset. I only use the soft, the vocal soft preset. It's just a good starting point. But there's no magic preset. I get that question a whole lot. There's no magic preset. I can give you presets, but it may not work for your voice. Especially, I've recorded a lot of people. They ne I never use the same preset on them. You know, I might have a preset for one particular person because it's easy if you're just recording yourself. You know, it's easy to ha maybe have a preset. But if you're recording multiple people, you, there's no magic preset that will work for everybody. So, like I said, my, my best advice would be is um, get your vocals to be smooth but not sound different. That's the goal. Really, You don't want it to sound different. You just want it to be evil level of um, volume and um, and be smooth I hope that helps you out if not you can ask some more questions hit me back and um, I'm at myspace.com backslash big grime number one you just type the, the word I mean the number one and I spell it out I make beats I mix um, I master tracks um, I do different edits I show you how to do different things. It's just it's a whole lot that I do. So if you're interested in any of those things, turn me up, alright? Give me some of that meat and put on that cush. Give me some of that kill me dash and bush. Give me some of that don't stop. Give me some of that ass pie. Give me some of that make me wanna grab. Give me some of that make me wanna land. Give me some of that.